It really is do or die territory for this game today. Peshawar Zalmi taking on Karachi Kings. Pommy, Karachi are winless. Peshawar Zalmi have only won two out of their seven so far. What are they got to do today to get across the line? I suppose, first of all, address your problems. I think that's the first thing. Um, is it possible to just sort of say, oh, scratch those off and we start again? Well, for um, the Karachi Kings, it might well have to be that because nothing has worked. They've just not been able to fire with the bat and then from there it's just nothing to defend and so, so they're struggling. As far as the Zalmi are concerned, they've shown glimpses here and there, a couple of wins for them. So as much as it is kind of do or die, it's more do or die because they're looking up above them and saying we can't afford to let the rest go away and we don't want to be one of the two that are kind of missing out. They've got to stay in touch with whoever is just above them. If they can do better than that, great. If they're in touch with them and pip them at the post, they'll take that as well. But it's all got to start somewhere for either side. I think it's a case of very much, you know, senior players stand up, do what we know, every, what you can do in order that your side stays in touch and kickstart some sort of run in the critical phase of the tournament. And we know Karachi Kings obviously winless, they've not found the right combination. But if you look at the Zalmi, they can't find the right opening partnership. Their power plays are really letting them down. They can't decide on their opening pair too. So, you know, what have they got to do in order to turn the tide? That's, uh, it's, it's always difficult for sides when they go with a pair and then it doesn't fire and they decide to change. Straight up in the air, keeper wants it, keeper wants it, keeper, oh! Got tall on him, wanted to pull it, but yes, he wanted it in one, never trusting the honey. He ran the moment it got in the air. Never look at that. Oh, that could have been even worse. Magnificent over. Hitting the right length. Wanted to slog it over mid wicket. And in essence, I mean, if you think back to the start of the tournament, there are a few sides that are sort of saying, well, um, they're guys who have to continue in isolation and, and this is the world we live in now. So you might not get what is your preferred pair, but if you're trying to jump onto a moving bus as a guy who's coming out of isolation and who's coming to try and get going in a tournament, that's also difficult. I think the way to go generally is to say, this is our pair, we back them and go with them and see what happens. because. When you think they're your pair, unless you're talking about guys who are horribly out of form, but if you think that's your pair, that's who you go with. Because it's also important to get a start at the top, it just slots everybody else into the order quite nicely and a team can then perform well. And obviously this is our first day game, so we'll get a look at this particular wicket in different conditions. What would you do? Bat or bowl first? Um, Having not seen it, the wicket, very yeah. difficult question. Yeah, but very, very difficult question, but generally I would say put runs on the board. And, and I would say that because we saw the tide turn um, in Karachi. And so it means with all those games, what was it, five, six games that were won, are batting first it means then there isn't that fear of having to set a target so and we saw in, in the previous game as well Islamabad United set 199 on the board up in the air big shot what a way to finish the opening over yeah slide up our head it was just there Gulbaz is, is very good down the pitch Finds a gap, and when it hits the middle of the bat, it stays here for Alex Hales. Helped on its way, and helped on its way all the way. The length, it was not good, it was on the head. He loves it there. Picked up again, and four this time. Same place, not six, but four. Good enough. Very, very good. He's in uh, good form now, he's picking length up quickly. Like a slow ball again. Robaz finds the gap leg side. Runs a plenty on the leg side at the moment. Accesses the leg side again. There are plenty of runs on the leg side. But because there's so many gaps in the first six overs, that one went for four. Procession of wickets. That's a why is a boundary. I'm not sure whether he could have done too much about it. Whether he got, we'll have to see here. Did he get the early call? Well, we'll see in a bit whether he got the early call and then he was stuffed, I don't know. Is in the dugout. Oh, These two guys need to get a partnership together. Iftikhar. Oh, Little paddle. 
Gonna go all the way for four. Nicely worked. Sweeper on the offside. He's got to cover some ground. He's not going to get there. That's an important boundary too. That's the second one of the over. Shot. That's really well played. Again, the margin for we talk about so often in T20. So minuscule. Shot. And if you pitch up there, bang, straight down the ground, couple of bounces over the fence. Smoked it, smoked it. Yep, it's gone, it's gone for six. No, full toss, just below the knee, and it's hashtag big. 75 meters. Delivery. Oh, there's one. Picked the bones out of that baby. It has gone all the way. Fahima Shraf just picked up the length early on to the pad. A lovely length, and all he did was make connection right out of the middle of the pad, and it sailed away over the bump. Smoke that. Smoke that, all right. Because if you put pace on, that's what's going to happen. A crack up the bat, and it's out of there. Season seven. Oh, guess what? It's another full toss. And it's in another six. It's like a throwdown for Fahima Trump right now. 92 meters. That's gone straight up. It's safe, though. It's safe. He'll get four more. Played, well played, what a shot. Time out there, back of the hand, Faulkner wasn't a bad delivery, not a bad option. But straight down the ground, Fahima Shaw went. That's a bright or strangely drive for you guys. Whack, whack, it's gone. It's not a bad total, so you're in with some sort of shout if you play decently, if you have to bat first. So it's not something they should shy away from. Especially also, if your batters are not firing, don't give them the pressure of the scoreboard by telling them to chase a score. Rather, and if I'm Karachi Kings, it's the way out. Go actually, because their batting's been probably worse off. They don't have any points. Allow Baba, allow their batting lineup to just go in, set a score. What do you think is good on this pitch? Play how you think you need to play on this pitch, and then we try and defend it. Oh, certainly all to play for. You're not going to want to miss this one. Karachi Kings, they're taking on Peshawar's army.